all righty. Let's play this in full. And getting there. All right, cool. Now, my first question here when I'm watching this is I don't know what this is. Let's see, and then it disappears. So I'm not sure you need it. You know, is it part of something that he was just fighting? But uh but then it's not it's not moving i i really don't quite know what that is where is it part of his armor is the weapon that he has because it's given that everything is gray this has color like there's an importance to both of them but if you just wanted the foreground element then it'll be something gray as well that you can put in some branches or rocks whatever you have to give this some you know some parallax or some layering depth there so i'm just not quite sure I mean, it is moving after his punch too, so it can't be that heavy. But anyway, that's the question for you. Here's what that is. The other thing is, I'm not sure if you need that camera move. We are already at the very beginning, very edgy. I'm gonna bring this in a bit more even. So we're very close here, very close here. And then as we progress, it's okay to break frame. You know, he's also huge and it gives it even a bigger sense of scale because he is breaking frame. But there seems to be with that translate and going up here again, we're starting to really cut things off a lot. He's very high up there. And then just when it got a bit more breathing room, we're back to just cutting just the top part there. And even this here, it gets a bit like that's it feels like there's a sudden move to re-accentuate the the roar and the camera goes back i'm generally not a mass effect of translates in cameras for quick things like that just because it's it goes a bit all over the place at least you have this that gives us some form of orientation but sometimes it's a bit of a weird mix between well is the character moving or is this now you know how far is the character moving forward or is that the camera what I would do, because we can always add camera stuff later. I will probably just leave the camera here. Don't do any translates and just tilt up just so we can kind of concentrate on the animation. And then, I mean, it might ex uh, expose more here, which, you know, maybe don't worry about animating it too much in terms of knee pops and stuff because we are going to get closer. But I'm just curious what you think in terms of, let's just concentrate on the animation and then see what, what we can do and you can tell me what you would like to accentuate with the camera. Like, why is the camera there? Is it just for interest? Is it to give it some life? Stuff like that. In terms of the animation you're mentioning here, it's basically the general idea is getting up and then he's doing something. Okay, so when I'm looking at this animation-wise, it's definitely a focus this way. This is a bit in between of, is that like a camera, sh uh, camera shake, a head shake of, ah, oh, no. Or is it just, just him moving left and right, almost maybe anticipating this? It's to me a bit in between. So I would kind of look at, is that maybe if you want to push this into like a, uh, a shake, shaking off what just happened? Or making it an actual head shake in terms of him thinking, no, 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 you're not going to do this to me again. And then getting up. Just throwing out some thoughts. Technically, careful as you move forward to when you have so much elbow movement, do not cut this so cleanly here. You can see how much this is not moving. So it's an IK arm and hand on the ground. Same thing here. You got stuff moving down here. So you would have a bit of a roll on that wrist. And then this is a bit too together. Like this and this movement. I will separate that a bit more it could be a bit more even leading a bit more with the chest and shoulder and then the arm i mean you can also completely lead with this but i would separate it a bit more so it's not so this moves this moves at the same time this hits a bit of a harsh stop there and you can imagine you could see the top here but you can even track this side here just suddenly goes down Bam! so i would ease into this a bit more just because it's it's a stronger force this way or then you have a bit of a hole and bam to smack back down there on that smack you could have a bit of a elbow shake maybe a little bit of a shoulder shake 
It just seems very separate as in. I see that the chest is moving. But when this moves up and down, there's not a lot of force to it. That's why I would lead with the chest and the shoulder. It's almost like you have this going first, shape-wise. Then the arm comes up. Then you ease in. And all of this eases in. And then again, you lead with the chest and the shoulder. And then, boom, then the arm comes in. And then when this, boom, a bit of a shake here, here, and a bit of a down on the head. Boom, it just seems a bit light. And then watch out, after the hit, we get immediately up. So it's the question is, is that a stomp, a stomp, like a punch of frustration? Is it to psych him up again? Is it to magical shockwave something away? <laughs> is it, you know, like there, I would think in terms of how we're supposed to feel about this, I feel like it's just movement, movement up. So maybe he's like, ah, oh, not again, oh, enough. And then you would have a bit of a moment and then he, he shifts the weight over a bit more. And then gets up there. It's a bit, I'm moving over and then we almost a bit to center. I would lean a bit more. You know, have a, 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 almost a nicer silhouette where this opens up a bit. He's out and then I lean over this way. He just, he just feels a bit light. And then here he comes to a stop. He goes... And stop. Like it's a bit of a, a simple mouth open, chest moves. Cool rig though. I like all that stuff there. Makes me want to animate that guy too. But like, what is this? Is he getting ready? Does he want to be intimidating? Does he have second thoughts? I would think in terms of how we're supposed to feel about this. This to me just feels more like up, exhale, and then that's it. And I think this you could play up a bit more where like this is going to be fairly painful. And I know there might be a bit of a, you know, a shock push. That's why he moves over. But it could also be something where there is movement in the body because the arrow is pushing the body a bit this way, right? But then you have a, like a shoulder cringe up less here because of the pain. Elbows go in. Head immediately turning towards this. Oh, what is this? And then head up rah, into that. It just feels like, bam, and I'm yelling. It's almost like he knew. This is almost the, the director going, go. And then that versus, like, I don't feel the pain. Even though it's it can be fast, it will be pain, thought process, reaction. And, you know, not a huge thought process. It's, a, it's an immediate painful physical reaction. But it feels like, it feels a bit too simple and fast. And even then, it's more like, stop it. And then back to this. Where it's, okay, but then if there's, if he's been looking to the right and the threat is always to the right, he just got an arrow from the top left. Is that all he's going to do in terms of addressing this? And maybe does he want to pull it out or just kind of smack it down so one piece is still here and it breaks off? Maybe he roars and then goes back, like roars this way to acknowledge where that guy is and then he goes back to this. Anyway, these are kind of my thoughts on just the general... Kind of bottom mechanics and how he could react and act in this moment. Um, and that's kind of that. I mean, you you mentioned it, you know, looking forward to tearing this to pieces. Uh, I want to go, you know, it's, I feel like, like there's some things when you have, you go up there, there would be more pressure and weight on this. This will go down, a bit more pressure here. And then I will tense up the fingers, for instance. But... Since I also ask a bunch of questions, I'm just going to leave it at that and not go too far into detail stuff. Just because you might change a few things. Like I would, the lean over this would also help to bring this arm out so there's a cleaner silhouette. So it's not too overlappy. Is he holding on to the knee or not? Stuff like that. But I think let's email back and forth. As always, planning and all that stuff is not part of the submission process. So let's chat. Let's chat about ideas and how far you want to take this and what you're thinking. Like, our, like that leg move up here would have a lot more hip involvement, like I said, and movements. So you don't have all that intersection stuff. Um, There's some more technical things, but I think let's, let's chat about the broader ideas as well. Or oh, first. All right? Thanks. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right? Thank you.